Now this message I have drawn for you here deals with the Word of God. That's the book, Holy Bible. We call this Holy Bible the King James Authorized Version. That's what I've talked to you about. We call this Holy Bible the King James Authorized Version because it was translated under a king, and the Bible says where the word of a king is, there's power. We call it an authorized version because it's authorized by the Holy Spirit in a way that no book has ever been authorized before or since. If you had an original copy of the King James Bible, you wouldn't find the word authorized in the flyleaf of that Bible. It came to be known as the authorized version by virtue of its power and authority. And this is the book we've talked to you about on this, on this telecast. This is the book you ought to be spending time reading. This is the book that you ought to get through at least once a year. If you're a dog slow reader, you can get through here once a year. If you're a fast reader, you ought to be able to get through four to six times a year. And the sad fact of the matter is people in America don't read this book. They buy these books and they study these books, but they don't read these books. And you've been preaching about this book here, and what I want to know is this. Are you going to get into this book and spend time in it, or are you not? This book is a cleansing agent. In John chapter 13, he said, Sanctify, or John 17, 17, Sanctify them with the truth, thy word is truth. In John chapter 15, he said, Now you are clean through the word I have spoken unto you. The psalmist said, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. It's a cleansing agent. Some of you Christians I'm talking to right now are dirty. You're filthy. You're saved, but you're filthy. You got a filthy mind, you got a filthy imagination, a filthy heart. And some of your practices are filthy. Some people don't even think you're saved. I've got better sense. I know how far out of the will of God a Christian can get and still be saved. A Christian can get in all kinds of trouble and still be saved. We all know that. Do you notice recently when these TV evangelists got in all the trouble they had, they suddenly decided they hadn't lost it? Did you notice that? We have one of these fellows saying, well, these Baptists preaching this damnable doctrine of eternal security, then he got in the worst mess you ever saw, and he didn't say he lost it. He just thinks you Baptists can lose it. Isn't that a strange thing? Listen, I'm not worried about you losing salvation if you've got it. But you can't live a clean, pure life as a child of God without spending time in this book. He said, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to my word. David said, Thy word is very pure. Therefore, thy servant loveth it. Now, there's an old saying. As we go off the air, I want to put this on you. This book will keep me from my sins, or my sins will keep me from this book. If you're messing around with lesbianism, the child of God, you're not going to enjoy reading this book. The faggots and fruitcakes out in California, where a friend of mine preaches at their big celebration up in Frisco, threw stuff at him and tore up his Bible, and several thousand stomped in the, in the street and repeated in unison, we will not read the Bible, 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 we will not... Don't have to tell me, I knew they wouldn't to start with. If you're stepping out in your wife, you don't enjoy Proverbs 4, 5, 6, and 7. If you're an atheist and agnostic, you don't care for Psalm 14 or Isaiah 28 and 29. Don't kid me. I know what's in there. That thing's loaded. That book knows all about you and tells it. You women I'm talking to, if you're a Christian woman, you're stepping out in your husband, or getting ready to step out in your husband, I'll tell you something you ain't going to fool with with a 10-foot pole. Ezekiel 16 and Ezekiel 23. And you don't even know what's in there. You just automatically avoid it. But I know why you avoid it, because I know what's in there. Now listen, it's time for you children of God to get in this book. It's time for you to quit messing around with multiple versions and trying to find a book that'll say something the way you think it ought to be said or where it'll suit your fancy. It's time you got the pure, unadulterated Word of God and got in it and hid it in your heart that you might not sin against Him. Those words are living. And Jesus Christ said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God doth man live. Will you make a resolution? I've preached to you. I've talked to you about it. Will you make a resolution today, right now, that you're going to read 10 pages a day out of there? You say, Brother Rupp, that's a lot of pages. Five pieces of paper on both sides. Five pieces of paper on both sides. 
Now, surely you can read five pieces of paper on both sides. Surely you can do that. Ten pages a day. This Bible here is a big, uh, has big print in it. And this Bible here runs approximately 1,800 pages. 1822. Unless we'll make it eight to 1,800. You can read this at 10 pages a day. You can read this Bible through in 180 days. You know what that is? That's two times a year. Any one of you people I'm talking to right now could read that book through twice a year if you read five pieces of paper on both sides. Why haven't you done it? Are you telling me you can't do it? You can't read five pages on both sides? Look at here. One, two, three, four, five pages on both sides in a day. You couldn't do that in a day. Five pages a day, you've got that book read through two times a year. You've been saved 30 years. Old Christian buddy, if you've been saved 30 years and haven't been through that book 60 times every word in it, you are one sorry Christian, let me tell you. You have sure spent your time reading a lot of junk, if you read it all. If you're blind, get it in Braille. If you can't read the Braille, get it on tape. But don't kid me. Christ said, he that is of God heareth God's words. Job said, I've esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Why, if some of you people fed your body like you feed your soul, you'd have died of malnutrition ten years ago. Are you going to get the book? Let's make a resolution, shall we? Today, you heard this message about the Word of God. How about make it a resolution right now? Lord, God give me grace. I'm going to read ten pages a day the rest of my life as long as my eyes hold up. Ten pages? Yes, I can't make it, Brother Ruffman. Okay, how about five pages? Okay? Five pages. That's two sides of two pieces of paper and one side of another piece of paper. If you've been, say, 40 years, you should have gone through that book 40 times if you had read two and a half pages a day. You know why you Christians don't know that book? You don't spend any time in it. And may God help you from this day forward to spend some time in there and grow in grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ.